There's an old saying, money can't buy happiness. It also can't buy love, attention, or the companionship provided by a loving family. This message is at the heart of many films, especially from the golden age of Hollywood, where every film had a moral and left the audience feeling enlightened. Oftentimes, children of rich or famous families have suffered worse neglect than those living in the slums. A businessman or celebrity can so easily get caught up in his life of work or pleasure that he neglects his children, thinking that money and gifts can take the place of a nurturing, loving family life. However, no amount of cash or expensive belongings can fill the void of an absent parent. Today's moment of movie wisdom comes from, Maisie Was a Lady, 1941, the fourth entry in a ten-film series about streetwise but kind-hearted showgirl Maisie Ravier. The scene takes place 67 minutes into the 79-minute film, when Maisie, currently working as lady's maid to a debutante, tells off the girl's father and brother for driving her to attempted suicide through neglect. The story, when drunken society boy Bob Ralston, Blue Airs accidentally gets Maisie Ravier and Southern fired from her job in a carnival sideshow, he loans her his car to drive into the city. A policeman recognizes the car and arrests her. In court the next day, while he doesn't remember the incident at first, Bob admits that Maisie's story is probably true. The judge orders Bob to provide Maisie with employment for two months at the same rate as her previous job. Bob brings her to his family's lavish estate to work as a maid, under the jurisdiction of kindly butler Walpole C. Aubrey Smith. When guests mock Maisie's unconventional behavior, Bob's sister, gentle Abigail, or, Abby, Maureen O'Sullivan asks Maisie to be her personal dresser instead. Maisie soon discovers that, while the family has everything money can buy, they are very unhappy. Bob drinks chronically, and Abby has spent her life feeling friendless and plain, both due to the absence of their pleasure-seeking father, Cap, Paul Kavanagh. When Abby discovers that her loutish fiancé, Link Phillips' Edward Ashley, was just planning to marry her for her money, she is desolate. Cap finally shows up, but he may be too late. 